Welcome back to Football Daily, where today we bring you our top 10 players who didn't want to leave their club, but were sold anyway. 10. Robinho We begin with a player who didn't even know where he was being transferred to until the very last minute. In 2008, Brazilian wonder kid Robinho actually asked to leave Real Madrid, but he was not sold to the club he wanted. That summer, offers came in from a host of Europe's top clubs, including financial juggernauts Chelsea. Robinho said he was desperate to join the Blues, who had just signed up Big Phil Scolari as manager, a legend who had won the World Cup with Brazil in 2002. But on transfer deadline day, the deal was hijacked by Manchester City, who had been taken over just hours earlier by Saudi oil tycoon Sheikh Mansour. A British record 32.5 million took Robinho to Manchester, with the deal done without a medical or the forwards' full understanding of the terms of his contract. The next day, Robinho said, Chelsea made a great proposal and I accepted. Oh dear. 9. Angel Di Maria Another Madridista who was cast off to Manchester, Angel Di Maria was very much set on staying in the Spanish capital. Brought to the Bernabeu from Benfica in 2010 for around 28 million euros, Di Maria gradually became one of Madrid's most influential players and blossomed into an absolute monster in 2013-14. In a team containing Ronaldo, Bale and Benzema, the Argentine attacking mid was Los Blancos' best player as they won that all-elusive 10th European Cup. But that summer, James Rodriguez wooed audiences with his performances for Colombia at the World Cup, and Florentino Perez smelt his commercial value rise. Real swooped for James and made Di Maria, who was a far superior player, their sacrifice. Against his wishes, he was offloaded to Louis van Gaal at Manchester United. He flopped, as did Rodriguez, and there were no winners. 8. Emmanuel Frimpong Former Arsenal player, an inspiration for the classic British catchphrase, you just got frimponged, Manuel Frimpong never really looked like becoming a legend at the Emirates. But he was nevertheless incensed when he was deemed surplus to requirements by Arsene Wenger. A player who entertained fans far more with his lethal bizzle endorsed social media presence than his technical ability on the field, Frimpong was let go by Arsenal in 2014, aged just 22. And needless to say, he was not feeling very dench as he had to swap his North London home for Barnsley. But Frimpong was clearly concerned with one thing in particular, women. Following his move to South Yorkshire, he tweeted, How am I gonna draw girls now? Clearly afraid his pulling power would be drained in the championship. But he obviously thought too much of himself. Four months later, Barnsley released him. 7. Aaron Lennon in January 2015, Aaron Lennon was sent on loan to Everton from Tottenham after nine and a half years of service at White Hart Lane. Lennon had gone from boy to man at Spurs, notching up over 250 league appearances and starring for them in the Champions League. A lethal force on the right wing on his day, Lennon was widely regarded as one of England's most underrated talents. But with his ongoing injury problems and the rise of Eriksen and Lamella, Lennon was let go despite wanting to stay and fight for his place. On arrival at Everton, Lennon looked less than amused, but following some good form in his first half season, the winger came round to life in Liverpool. He made the deal permanent that summer with a rather happier look on his face. 6. Mesut Ozil Back to Arsenal now where in September 2013, fans were excitedly awaiting a new era. After years of penny pinching, Wenger had finally splashed the cash bringing in Mesut Ozil from Real Madrid for a stonking £42.5 million. But the German maestro was not ready to leave the Bernabeu, and like Di Maria after him, had gone underappreciated by Real. After providing a mouthwatering 60 assists in just three seasons, you'd have thought he'd be indispensable for Los Blancos. But having spent over €150 million Euros on Ilya Ramendi, Isco and Bale, Real had to balance the books and the team and Ozil was their makeweight. As it happens, he has also been undervalued by the Gunners, and instead of a league title and three Champions Leagues, he's had to settle for three FA Cups. 5. Fabio De Silva At 16 years of age, Fabio De Silva got the move of a lifetime, signing for Manchester United with his twin Raphael. A graduate from Fluminense, Fabio made just 22 league appearances in five seasons for Alex Ferguson's side but somehow warranted a starting place in the 2011 Champions League final. 
But in 2013, just as Raphael was establishing himself as a regular in the team, Fabio was considered surplus to requirements at Old Trafford. He was sent out to QPR on loan, but it was not the step down from playing under Ferguson to Mark Hughes that was his prime concern. Fabio had never spent more than two days apart from his twin brother, and when he moved down to London, this turned into months. Poor guy. 4. Yap Stam Another Old Trafford exile at number 4 here, and one who was far more missed than our man Fabio. After signing for United in 1998, Yap Stam quickly became the Premier League's most feared centre-half, and looked set to stay in the heart of the Devils' defence for some time. But just as the 2001-2 season was getting underway, Stam was sold against his will to Lazio. Many speculated that it was much to do with comments the defender had made in his autobiography, in which he called the Neville brothers busy c**ts, but Ferguson insisted it was purely for footballing reasons. Either way, it was clear Stam was not ready to leave Old Trafford. I've never wanted to leave this club, I love it here, he said. Ferguson would come to regret his decision, as the United manager had to deal with a dodgy defence in Stam's absence for the next five years. 3. Radamel Falcao During his first years in Europe, Radamel Falcao was an absolute talisman. The Colombian became the hottest striker on the continent, as his ridiculous goals tallies helped Porto and Atletico Madrid to victories in the Europa League. But despite a frankly ridiculous 70 goals in 91 games for Atletico, Falcao was let go by Los Rocky Blancos, who were unable to turn down Monaco's 43 million euro offer in 2013. But the striker, at home in Madrid where he was forming a deadly partnership with Diego Costa, didn't want out. And things only got worse for El Tigre in the Principality, as an ACL injury jeopardised his career for nearly three whole seasons. By 2016, Falcao tried in vain to return to Atleti while playing at Chelsea, but a move did not materialise. Luckily, he has regained some of his form back at Monaco. 2. Dimitri Payet In 2015-16, Dimitri Payet became one of the Premier League's best-loved players, performing wonders for West Ham. But during that stellar season, the French playmaker's outstanding performances masked his homesickness. Following a move to Marseille in 2013, Payet and his family found their home, while his playing style was transformed at Olympique by Marcelo Bielsa. So, understandably, he wasn't best pleased when the club were forced to sell and he was forced to leave home for East London. In 2016, West Ham's teething problems at the London Stadium coincided with Payet's own dip in form. And when Marseille were taken over by American tycoon Frank McCourt that October, his mind drifted elsewhere. So in January 2017, after much protest from the West Ham hierarchy, Payet finally got his move back home. 1. Iker Casillas There was very little argument about this one. Iker Casillas will always be considered a legend at Real Madrid, but his exit from the Bernabeu left a sour taste, to put it lightly. Having joined at the age of nine, Casillas captained Los Blancos to La Liga and Champions League titles while leading Spain to the Euros and the World Cup, cementing his place as one of the greatest goalkeepers in history. But during his final years in Madrid, Ica encountered some difficulties. First with Jose Mourinho, who did the unthinkable and dropped him after the keeper spoke with Barcelona players over national team matters, and then with the Madrid supporters, who did something equally unthinkable by whistling him from the stands. Casillas' relationship with Florentino Perez also broke down, and as time went by, the club captain was ushered out of the door by the president. The keeper was then humiliatingly made to face the press before he left for Porto, unaccompanied by any club officials and without a hero's goodbye. An utter disgrace, but it is Florentino Perez, so are we that surprised? So we hope you enjoyed that, and if you want to check out more of our videos, then click here on screen. Don't forget to like and subscribe and get on our Snapchat and our Twitter.